Congressman, Lieutenant Governor Polito, Mayor Coogan, President Ponte, my colleagues in government, and distinguished guests. Good morning. Before I begin, I have some very important thank yous. First and foremost, to my husband, Aaron, and my three children, Paige, Hope, and Jameson. <laughs> who are all here today. Thank you for being my biggest cheerleaders, for believing in me, and always encouraging me to stand up for what is right and to speak the truth. And to my friends and supporters who have helped elect me to a third term as a Fall River City Councilor, a position that I am proud to hold. Thank you. I also need to sincerely thank the councillors who I have had the honor of serving with the last four years. These were not easy terms and not pleasurable circumstances. Terms that would have easily shaken a veteran councillor, never mind a brand new one. I specifically want to thank both Council President Ponte and Councillor Kadeem. Cliff and Sean, thank you for your friendship, for your support, and most importantly, your humor, which was sometimes silly, sometimes dark, oftentimes at Cliff's expense but definitely exactly what was needed to keep going. Thank you. As I stand here in a leadership role as Council Vice President, I would be remiss if I did not take this opportunity to acknowledge all the smart and influential women who stand on this stage with me and those who join me in this room. This year, 2020, marks 100 years since women exercised their right to vote for the very first time. A movement that activists who believe that women, like men, deserved all of the rights and responsibilities of citizenship. A movement that had started 100 years prior in the 1800s. The women who stand with me, Michelle, Linda, and Mimi. Our state representative, Carol Fiola, who I know and who so many of you can attest, who never stops working. Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito, who I am so happy was able to join us this morning. We have all worked hard to be given an opportunity to make significant contributions and to be agents of change, not only for Fall River, but also for the Commonwealth. And while today on this stage, women make up only 25% of those being sworn in, this is an accomplishment. And let us not take this accomplishment lightly. We are all the example for many women who are interested in government, who want to make a difference in their community. Young women, like my two amazing daughters, Paige and Hope, who are missing school this morning because what better civics lesson than this? <laughs> young women who hope to positively impact the world as they see it they are watching they see you and they hear you so i stand here and i applaud each and every one of you ladies for who you are the potential that you have and the impact that you have the ability to make To my colleagues on the council, thank you for giving me the honor of being your vice president. As I was preparing my remarks, I thought about the definition of leadership and our role as city councilors. Leadership is a simple word, but each of my colleagues would probably give a different answer on its meaning. Each definition as unique as the individual councilor themselves. I think after so much turmoil, we can all agree what leadership isn't. My definition of what leadership is, is this. Leadership is about leading with the head and the heart. It is qualities like empathy, compassion, and courage. It is working with others to achieve a common goal. It is not seeking credit for yourself, but always giving credit where it is due. It is so much more than a title. Leadership is generated by a vision and ignited by a purpose. This is the leadership that I commit to you and to the residents of Fall River. Let us start this term today embracing all of our definitions of leadership by cultivating the partnerships that will make Fall River and the South Coast the envy of the Commonwealth. Let us initiate the planning of our future by capitalizing on our diversification and our multicultural heritage. Let us elevate our conversations on the council floor to include, and always be mindful of, equality, social and emotional health, and environmental impacts to our community. Let's focus our energy on ensuring a quality of life here in Fall River that is second to none. Last but certainly not least, I need to congratulate our new mayor, Mr. Paul Coogan. I have had the privilege of calling Paul and his wife Judy friends for many years now. 
For the last four years, Coogan and I, I've got to get used to calling him the mayor, the mayor and I have had lunch together at Sherry's every couple of weeks or so. After election, at one of these lunches, he said to me, we've got a lot, to work, uh, we've got a lot of work to do. And even though we're friends, I know we're not going to agree on everything, and that's okay. That's okay. That is leadership. Each one of us has been elected to a two-year term. You've heard today about turning pages and fresh starts. Quite simply, there has never been a greater opportunity for a comeback story than it was what is before us right now. But make no mistake, we're not down. Is there room for improvement? Always. There always will be. But I have never seen a stronger, prouder, more passionate city than Fall River. Former First Lady Nancy Reagan said, you learn something out of everything, and you come to realize more than ever that we're all here for a certain space of time, and then it's going to be over, and you better make this count. She was speaking in terms of life. I'm speaking in terms of terms. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two years. Let's make it count. Thank you.